Sorry I was so long, but uh, I got tied up in a meeting. I know, I know how busy you are, but I felt I had to see you. Is there anything wrong? I want to leave. Leave? You leave the hospital? Right away. It's, it's important to me. So is your health, Karen. We haven't even finished the test yet, much less evaluated your condition. When I agreed to come here, you said it would only be for a day or two. I said probably, if you'll remember. I also warned you that Dr. Gannon is very thorough. I am painfully aware of that fact. Look, I have to go home for a little while. I'll come back. Say in a couple of weeks, surely my, my condition can't deteriorate in that length of time. What I want to know is why it's so imperative for you to leave this center. It's this place. I feel walled in. I, I feel walled in. Isn't it just the opposite? Don't you want to go where you can really be isolated? What are you getting at? I'm trying to get out of way to make you stand back and take an honest look at yourself. Now, just a minute, doctor. Karen, you are ill. You are a patient at this medical center. That places your well-being far above all social niceties and platitudes. Dr. Gans told me about your growing interest in that little boy, Tavo, and how you're frightened of it. His mother is dead. I've, I've felt sorry for him. That's all there is to it. No, I think that's all you want there to be to it. Dr. Lochner, I am not here for psychiatric guidance. I think you could use a good dose of self-appraisal. Is that your concern? Without question. Without question. You're risking your life leaving here just to avoid becoming involved with another human... I don't human. want to be involved. That's right. I have that's no right. You don't to want to become involved. involved. And no one of us has to become involved, not with the Enriquez boy or anybody else. But there is a kind of death wish in that that often comes true. Oh, Doctor, you're very special. You have special skills and knowledge. That insulates you against the realities we mortals must face to hand down your solutions as though they were by divine guidance. My husband was killed under extraordinary circumstances. What there was of my life ended with him. No, no, no. What you're doing to your life is something you're committing by your own hand. How would you know? It's the only way anybody ever knows anything by having experienced it. I lost my wife a number of years ago. I thought my life had come to an end. But I learned somewhere in that time, somehow, that there's only one salvation, just one, to reach out to other people. No, Karen, I will not dismiss you from this hospital, not until we have made you as well as we can. From there on in, we have no further prescriptions, no further treatment. It's up to you.